Welcome to episode 10 in our series of Energy Market Talks. Uh, I'm joined today by two guests, uh, Georg Giocas and Catherine McCarthy. Uh, thanks for joining, guys. Thanks, too. Uh, yeah, well, you both you. work uh, for Ruth for Gas, which is a relatively new player in the energy markets, in the, in the natural gas market, uh, actually. Um, first of all, for those who haven't seen your presentation in our uh, events um, can you briefly explain what Root for Gas is and what you are doing? Of course. So um, I just start. Um, normally, it's ladies first, but uh, in this case, <laughs> I overrule Catherine. Yeah. <laughs> um, Root for Gas um, is a, a three years old a company, a startup company, and uh, we're offering um, a software solution for the European natural gas market. Yeah. Um, in our system, the participants can enter all their mainly physical positions and uh, our mathematical model uh, just finds out the, the best uh, way to match them with uh, other positions entered into the system. Just to have an idea um, what can be submitted. It starts with uh, simple location swaps, um, unused capacities, existing flows, storage positions and so on. Yeah? And uh, they all can be submitted and uh, in fact put in the pot. Yeah. Uh, and uh, our, our model uh, finds the best uh, solution for that. Yeah. Um, the main idea behind uh, um, this uh, model uh, is to find and to reduce uh, cyclic flows. And so we eliminate um, inefficiencies in the European gas market. Yeah. yeah. So we don't create new trades, but um, um, we we, we uh, cancel those cyclic flows, and this again creates new trades. Yeah? Um, a big point uh, to mention is that uh, our software solution is an anonymous um, uh, one, which means nobody sees the position uh, and the positions uh, which are submitted by uh, the customers, by the by the by the partners, um, and this solution. This anonymity solution is patented, so it's a really unique one. Um, but it's uh, very important because some of the traders might uh, think that we're broker. Uh, it's very important to mention that we are no broker. So root for gas is no broker. Uh, the this, this so-called matching rounds we are doing, mm -hmm. um, they're comparable to uh, so-called single round auctions. Um, the market price spreads, uh, which are fixed for the round, um, um, they are shown to the to the customers, and the customers just submit their positions if they agree on the price. And uh, okay. such rounds will be run, um, um, let's say, around four times a day, so that it makes sense, of course. Yeah. 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 Um, in addition to this service, uh, we um, offer another service, which is in fact the full map um, for analyzing the flow data of the whole European market. We are talking about really the whole market, not only a special West European market, Eastern European market, the whole European market. Yeah. And we yeah. include uh, storages and LNG plus all TSO fees. So that's the full package which is available at the moment. Yeah. And if I may add to that, um, Georg. Yeah, sure. So as Georg said already, we have got here a unique software solution for the pan-European market. And um, it's easy to handle. That's very important to say. As Georg said, we are not a broker. We are a system. It's very easy to handle. We had about to 16 companies already testing our system and helping us also with the development. Small customers, big customers, like companies with more physical flows, with more storage, with other flows. And it was really interesting to get their feedback. That's all implemented in that, co in that whole system. And um, the algorithm that is actually the core of our system um, searches for complex cycles that's really the importance here and it doesn't only take the opposite trading interest into account mm -hmm. but a complex cycle flow and so that we are boosting liquidity in a completely anonymous way imagine you are like someone who gets a position in the afternoon a gig or two you know, in the normal broking world, yeah, mm -hmm. it's quite easy out in the market. Ah, look what's coming. And if it's a buy, then the prices will go up immediately. And that's one advantage we have with our system. You can enter all these positions, come to an auction um, round, and you don't even know. You don't even know about the position, first of all. And 
absolutely not the name. And this yep. is also yep. one really, really important thing we are having. And one last thing to add, digitalization, the watchword today. Like root for guess is a system that brings the user a step forward to it because we are combining uncomparable products, you may think, liquid and illiquid markets and yeah. match them, match products like financial, physical products so that the liquidity is boosted in the whole European gas market. Mm. So, so just to summarize it, it's like we are a unique system, liquidity booster, a, we have the patented anonymity solution and we are bringing the user a step forward to digitalization okay that sounds clear <clears throat> so you're helping liquidity in the market well, now the past few months with uh, the covid crisis of course have, have resulted in a very illiquid market actually um so what what kind of challenges have these months uh, presented to uh, to you and and to root for guess of course, of course, uh, um, um, due to the fact that it's our business um, and uh, we try to serve liquidity to the market, we are on the one side uh, uh, happy that uh, see no liquidity so that we can just step in and say, come on, we can uh, uh, bring some liquidity to the market, which helps, especially in those, in those months. Yeah. And um, of course, we are watching uh, the gas markets and all the trading activities. Mm -hmm. And... Um, um, seeing, seeing this liquidity is uh, for us a good sign that we're on the right way, that we uh, offer the right thing and at that at the right time. Yeah? And um, as uh, Catherine already mentioned, so that's, that's the, the main message to the traders and suppliers from our side. Yeah? Um, as already told before, that doesn't mean that we add new uh, trading positions, but uh, we try to, to, to reduce and even eliminate uh, the inefficiencies in the European gas market. And there are a lot, you might know, not know, yeah? but there are a lot uh, because uh, we saw them, we, we analyzed them yeah? and say, okay, there is much more we can do. Yeah? And uh, again, we talk about the whole European gas market. Uh, it's from UK to Greece, from Spain to Poland, yeah? covering all possible points where transfer, um, title transfer between all these actors is possible. And that doesn't mean only VTPs. Yeah. There might be uh, also storages, uh, title transfer, and so on possible. Yeah? But the main uh, uh, lack of liquidity uh, we had uh, to work with was the lack of, uh, uh, sorry, the lack of liquidity um, of personal meetings. Um, yeah. Yeah. That, that was our main mm -hmm. problem. On the internal side, um, we are quite, uh, um, con uh, let's say, uh, experienced uh, in... in acting with, uh, with uh, remote video conferences and so on. Mm -hmm. um, but we, of course, missed the personal meetings. But especially on the external side, meeting with partners, with customers, with participants uh, to talk about, yeah, um, that was the main problem we had. And uh, uh, not we suffered, but we tried to get rid of this problem. Yeah? Um, although we have the technique yeah, uh, to work like we do right now, yeah? Uh, via video chat yeah, so that it's possible uh, and not those big efforts anymore are yeah, needed for that. Um, in a personal talk, um, you're much more efficient um, and uh, especially you can't postpone that easily a personal meeting. Yeah? A video conference mm -hmm. can be postponed yeah. uh, quite quickly. Yeah? So that was the main, the main issue we had. Yeah, yeah. yeah because mm -hmm. you're also uh, I think a very international team, right? Uh, yes. So internally, uh, how, how, mm -hmm. was, how was that for you as a team? So apart from the external side? Yeah, Patrick, you mentioned that we are quite an international team and I actually had to write it down. We are 16 employees, so I remember that. But we are working from Vienna, we are working from Kassel, we are working from Zug, we are working from Amsterdam, we are working from Riga, we are working from Kiev and also Moscow. So, and ha have four nationalities in our team. And as Georg said, we are used to work remotely. And yeah, so yeah. I could only start my job, to be honest, because I was offered home office because of the kids I'm having. And it's easier to just like combine both of that. But yeah. um, for example, we are, what we did before was we had once a month, we had a team meeting. And that was quite essential for us in our, also in our company culture. I would say that also defined us a little bit. 
So we met and we discussed open questions. We discussed like strategies that were actually ongoing developments. So everyone on one table, followed by lovely meals and a lot of drinks. So it was really good, good and really important. <laughs> <laughs> it was fantastic. I really missed that. No, but yeah. it was good for the team spirit. You know, like I, it was really necessary for the team spirit. And yeah, yeah that is obviously gone. And that is quite a big challenge because like uh, discuss things on the phone, discuss things on the, um, on the chat, it's different than when you see someone face to face. Of course. Yeah. Here, we are three non-native English speakers here, for example. Yeah. So how would it be in a bigger team with mm -hmm. more, even more nationalities involved, even though we are three here, you know, but everyone sees things, things differently. You need the body language, you need to see the facial impression. So that was missing a bit. Yep. But beside yep. that, what I also found talking as a, as a mom too, you suddenly have kids at home. So I've got three, three little ones as well. And one just started school. And so to do the homeschooling beside your job, a hundred percent job, it was quite Not a easy. challenge. No, no. Yes. And, <laughs> and we often had like in the background, like, like the little kids jumping around and it was okay for us because we, we said, yeah, they saw them before. But I remember once, oh, Patrick, that was honestly, I had a really, really important meeting. And I was preparing for it. And I was really making sure everything was correct and right and sitting there. And then my little one was two, had his little first milestone or like another milestone. He was able to enter the door or enter the room, like push down the handlebar from the mm -hmm. door without help. And he was very proudly coming into the room, <laughs> shouting and laughing. And I was just, oh my God, it was okay. Sounds familiar. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, exactly at that time you didn't need that. No, but it was okay at the end. But it was just these things that, um, yeah, put us sometimes also on the edge, to be honest, you yep, know, and yep. it wasn't easy. But we managed that through. We had already our first team meeting again for those who could travel ah, okay. yep. in Amsterdam. That was about three weeks ago, I think. We already visited the first customers again who were open to see us. So yep. it's all going ahead again. That, that's good to hear. So mm -hmm. um, also for the future, um, maybe Georg again, what, what, what does the future hold for uh, Root for Guess? Uh, what's coming up? Well, What's coming up is a good question. Uh, in fact, uh, a lot, yeah. Um, and uh, um, the the next milestone, and uh, like like Catherine said, it's not uh, uh, pushing the the handle, but in this case, um, it's our go live, yeah, the go live of the system, and this will take place on first of September. So uh, we are very, very happy and proud to to yeah. announce, yes. it, yeah. Um, um, it's been a, a good way uh, and we're happy to, to be that far and uh, we're happy uh, even to continue this way. Yeah? So um, that has been, of course, the main goal uh, for the last uh, few months. Um, and in coming weeks, uh, weeks in fact, all, all the other companies acting all over Europe mm -hmm. uh, will see that and will see what the system will provide them and uh, how the whole market will gain out of it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. um, so um, we expect that the let's call it optimization ratio will be increased uh, massively. Yeah, starting uh, uh, this um, um, this system, and uh, more and more companies will particip participate. Then, yeah, um, that's the one thing. And uh, what we already do, in fact, even even uh, uh, let's say waiting for the for the go live is that we on the technical side uh, we already uh, e extending the functionalities and the um, and the products in the system. Uh, and this together with our shareholders and together with all the companies involved. So uh, even with our customers, yeah. So we get the feedback. We try to put it in. Uh, we we put another function, another features, another product in. And and um, as far as I see, or as far as uh, we all develop it, in fact, yeah. So even on the sales side, we develop uh, the product, yeah. Um, the new ones uh, which will be added will be at least as innovative as the system itself. Yeah? And so that's, um, that's something we can't publish yet, but uh, that's something uh, you can be sure of. Um, and that's our uh, main task for the next months. And of course, uh, being happy to, to see each other, to see uh, all the other participants. Hopefully, let's see, uh, the next, let's call it small lockdown might be there in autumn. Yeah? But uh, we are ju just now um, taking this window which we have, yeah, mm -hmm. 
and um, try mm -hmm. to see each other and uh, try to meet uh, uh, all the others. And I think um, having this then in place, we can um, talk about uh, the next time, talk about the success story. Uh, because just coming back to your to your uh, question regarding liquidity in, in gas trading yeah, and lack of liquidity, um, looking at uh, LNG, looking at uh, Ukraine, the storage uh, uh, for the European market, yeah, there are a lot of physical flows now in the market, more than before perhaps. Yeah? Okay. And um, it, using the pipes efficiently is now a mm -hmm. big topic, a much bigger topic and uh, to create perhaps also free space again. And for the, let's call it longer future, yeah, it's also a topic for another commodity like hydrogen, for instance. So yeah. we have, a, we have a, a, a bigger picture than what we are offering right now. So there's um, a lot to do. Yeah? And that's, I think, is, um, is uh, our picture for the, for the future. Yeah? So very exciting times coming up. Yes, yeah. yes <laughs> absolutely. Okay, well. Then I want to thank you both for, uh, for joining us in this uh, series of Energy Market Stocks. And uh, I want to wish you uh, a lot of good luck with the go live. Thank you very much. Thank yeah? you very much. Thank yes, we will do our best. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>